Cancer. I am G1 Rider with G1 Insights, and this is your life and love energy for October, November, December. This is for the Cancer man and the Cancer woman. All right. Now it's the end of the year, almost practically, right? So these last three months are crucial. Okay, we are gonna look into your soul. We're gonna get some guidance. We're going to try to get some type of understanding and definitely some clarity from the universe, like right now, okay? So I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time, so let's just get into this. Um, I kind of already pre-shuffled the deck, so bear with me. All right, so Cancer, what I do know, though, as far as October is concerned anyway, um, there's a lot of focus on your home and family this season, okay? Because Mercury is retrograding in October. So what that means is Mercury retrograde is, it causes like somewhat of like confusion, communication problems. There can be some issues again within home and family, especially for you because it's happening in your fourth house. So in your birth chart, okay? So... There can definitely be some mishaps or confusion, miscommunication happening with either close friends or family, um, different situations unfolding in front of you, or you may feel like October is a really slow, kind of boring month for you, okay? With that being said, you want to focus on all that actually excites you, all that make you happy. Get grounded, pray. Meditate if you need to, okay? But it's definitely a time for you to reconnect with yourself and reconnect even within your relationships. You may either suddenly decide to work on your own relationship with someone else, like a spouse, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, tomato, tomato, right? Or you may decide to kind of refocus your attention on yourself. Where, okay, you know what? I've been giving this job all of my attention. I've been giving someone else all of my attention. Let me focus on me, right? Instead of me um, jumping into a relationship at this time, let me try to find something that actually just pleases me, okay? This is a very internal month, okay? Because the Mercury retrograde is happening in the sign of Libra, again, in your fourth house. So this is one of those times where not only are you indecisive, but you're just frankly bored. Like, it's like, oh my God, I wish this month just hurry up and get out of here, you know? But I have good news. Going into November, you will definitely feel a lot better, okay? It's just, you just gotta ride this wave, baby. That's it. Just get over this hump right here, okay? But enough for all my chatting. Let's get to the cards, okay? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Cancer? Okay, I wanna get clarity for these cards, guys. I wanna make sure because. What happened is, I keep getting, and I don't know if it's just a universal thing, but it's like I keep getting a lot of the same cards for everyone. Like, it's crazy. And I shuffled, and I shuffled, so let's just get clarity, okay? This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Cancer. This is for Cancer Man and the Cancer Woman. Because I know you guys just saw me shuffle, but I keep, if you guys go look at some of the other videos, these same, I mean, I didn't even show you guys the cards, but... A lot of these same cards just keep coming out. And it's crazy because it's like 78 cards in my hand. So that definitely should not be happening. Yep. So the Three of Wands is here, but it came out in reverse. Okay. So again, there's a lot of slow movements here in the month of October. All right. But the good thing is there are, there are going to be a time where you're going to be sitting there trying to plan things. And that's fine. You can do your planning and processing. Just don't expect it to move at a fast pace. Even though that's what you're yearning for, it's not going to happen until the very, like, like that first week of October. I mean, that first week of November. And also, guys, I don't know if I told you already, but, well, I don't think I did. But maybe I did in your September video. I'm not sure. Um... The end of October, we're going to have an Aries full moon. And so that's also a time to kind of clear away those negative energies, clear your space, you know, clear your mind, your spirit, purify your body. Again, this is about 
self. Like, I want to focus on doing something strictly for me. Don't be impulsive. Don't feel like you have to rush into making any type of drastic decisions. Stay very clear of contracts, okay, Cancer? Do not. I understand that in some situations, you may not can't help it. Like, for instance, if you don't have a place to stay and you need to sign a contract to get that apartment, basically like a lease, right? I get that. But still, at least read through it carefully. Do not. If you absolutely have to sign a contract, just read through it thoroughly, okay? That's what I have to say about that. Now, the King of Swords also came out. This is, you know, taking some time, feeling stoic, receiving some type of guidance or um, wise counsel, okay? But it says here to remain objective. Again, don't be impulsive. Remain objective. Be fair-minded, okay? You may have some time this season when you may need to go out and speak publicly, or you may have to stand up for something or voice your opinion about something, okay? Be very careful about projections, like what you say and how you say it, okay? Make sure that you mean what you say and you say what you mean. This is very important, okay? I can't stress that enough. Look at this. It says to communicate clearly. So, yeah, you want to be very cautious about your choices of words, okay? Your, cho your choices. Your choice of words. Sorry. So, unemotional relationships or being emotionally unavailable. There's some disconnect here. Again, you want to focus because Mercury is retrograding in your fourth house. You Again, you're going to be focusing a lot on family, bringing your family together, Okay, having those long heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Again, October is not the month to do all that. Wait, if you can, try to wait until November to get things off your chest. Because even at the end of September going into October, I'm telling you, it's tricky. October is not the season to be like bad-mouthing people or saying things that you shouldn't say or um, lashing out on people. This is not the season for that. Wait until November, and I'm telling you, you will have the clarity that you need to move forward, okay? Especially when it comes dealing with your children, dealing with your spouse, dealing with um, any type of renovations when it comes to your home, um, anything dealing with um, your finances, okay? Pay very close attention to these things because they are going to require your attention whether you like it or not. So you may not even be the one to bring it up. Somebody may bring it up to you, okay? So these are going to be just a lot of strong, intense emotions happening, okay? So watch out for that, okay? But like I said, going into November, you're going to be feeling fine, okay? You'll feel more resourceful. You'll feel more relieved that things are finally working out for you. You already had that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So things are definitely moving along emotionally here in November, so don't be so hard on yourself. But like I said, October may feel a bit boring, but we're getting past that, okay? Don't worry about it. Everybody have moments in their life where shit just got to go down a hill or be a little slow, be a little corny. It's okay. You will live. This too shall pass, okay? Now here, we are looking at the Eight of Swords. Again, things moving rapidly fast happening really, really quick, or maybe you need things to move along really fast. But this is an illusion of entrapment, okay? Again, don't be so hard on yourself. There is a lack of self-confidence here, okay? There's a lack of self-confidence here, making you feel insecure, making you feel um, reluctant to change, okay? These type of issues are going to make you feel less helpless, I mean, not less helpless. It's going to make you feel helpless and being afraid to take action. But it is time for you to take responsibility. So again, here in November, going into December, you definitely are going to experience that sudden urge, that sudden nudge to just get up and do it. Okay, whatever that means for you at this moment, take it with a grain of salt. By November, mid-November, going into December, you're going to get that sudden nudge to say, you know what? I can't take this no more. I got to make something happen. Sorry about all the noise. You know, I'm in the city, so it, it gets loud, okay? Um, but yeah, you're taking action. No more with the lack self of confidence. No more feeling helpless. No more beating yourself up. No more feeling sad or feeling like things are not working out for you. Love will return, but you, um, some of you will get new love. Some of you won't. Again, this could just be self-love that you guys are going to be focusing on, especially concerning that confidence. 
Maybe your confidence is finally returning, okay? Very good, very good. Let's get clarity on why the Three of Wands is here, okay? We're going to get clarity on why the Three of Wands is here. And why did it come out in reverse? That's what I really want to know. Seven of Cups, the Empress. Mm, not really feeling like yourself. The Empress card definitely came out on top of the King of Swords. So there's definitely some emotional trauma here that you're working through. Um, I don't know if some of you recently just lost something. I don't know if you lost a job or lost um, some type of money. Or maybe you guys just, again, just lost that self-confidence, okay? Um, but it's time for you to nurture yourself in others, okay? It says lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams. Again, take an action. You guys... So we had the Two of Swords, and the Two of Swords is um, definitely about decision-making, okay? But it came out in reverse. So again, clarity will return. You will be able to make up your mind about what it is that you want to accomplish, what it is that you're working towards, whether this is going back to school, again, finding a new job. Something is about to happen for you, thank goodness, because apparently between September and October, it was like kind of frustrating, okay? So... You have a chance to finally move along. So whether you have been in, you know, stagnation mode, sitting here really trying to figure out what to do, things will begin to move along for you. But you will be required to make some type of major decision. Something needs your attention and you are going to have to make a decision. Whether this is relocating, moving out the country, starting over, um, working on that marriage of yours, working on that relationship of yours, working with your children. Maybe they have a plan in mind, but you have to make a decision about something, okay? And you might be having feeling like you are unable or unwilling to make a decision, okay? Pretending like there is no problem when you know it is. That's what you guys been doing for the past two months. Between September and October, that's what you guys been doing. Again, it came out in reverse. So you need to make a decision and you need to do it now. Again, it's time for you to take action. Okay, you also got here the Seven of Cups. All right, the Seven of Cups, a complex decision. Once again, looking at all these options and not knowing what to do. But the Seven of Cups could also be daydreaming a lot, um, being stuck in your thoughts too much, worrying too much, or not really caring too much at all. This is just you just letting life pass you by, just in la-la land, not really giving a damn. And then, again, soon as November or December get here, um, for some of you, this may happen by mid-November. Some of you, this may happen early on in November, especially with the new moon approaching us. So things are going to work out for you, okay? So just hold your horses. Don't Again, don't be so hard on yourself. But it says here, once again, stop procrastinating. You can't get anywhere procrastinating, my love. Stop procrastinating, okay? You have to decide, okay? Like I said, here in October and September, it was saying be patient with the process, right? Be patient. Don't beat yourself up. Be patient as you decide what's next. But it didn't say be this damn patient. It didn't say just sit around for forever and keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. No, no, no. It didn't say do that. At some point, Cancer, you have to get up and find your bliss again. Okay? Give birth to your dreams. Don't just give up and lay by the wayside and just wait for an opportunity to come to you. You got to get out there and get it. And a lot of you are very creative spirits, okay? You need to go out there and do what you love. Let's look at love. Speaking of love, let's look at some... Ooh, look, it came right the hell out. Damn. All right. It says wait. Wow. All right. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe you need to wait in love. It says don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course, okay? Love will come to you. But trust me, honey, it won't be somebody else's husband, and the damn sure won't be nobody else's wife, okay? You will know when your soulmate come. You don't have to fight over it. You won't have to worry about being jealous or insecure. You won't have to feel like you're on the back burner all the time, or you got to wait and sit around and wait for them to call you, okay? You will meet the one person that really make your heart beat. And trust me, like I said, you don't want to put yourself in a situation that's going to cause you any harm. So stay clear of the negative energies. It's time to clear your space. Don't rush into it. Allow things to naturally happen. It's going to happen in divine timing. But you cannot force things to happen. And maybe that's why you are feeling kind of sluggish and sad and depressed. I mean, look at this guy. He don't even care. Like, life is just passing him by. He's like, eh, whatever, fuck it, I don't care. You know, whatever, love sucks, job suck, like, whatever. Like, you're not caring. It's like a sense of giving up. But spirit warns you here between mid-October, I mean, between the end of October going into 
the beginning of November is telling you your confidence will return. So we know something is definitely about to happen. You will be meeting someone new. A lot of you will be. Some of you will be on a glimpse of resurgence, okay? Trying to rebuild what you felt like you've lost. Trying to rebuild your relationship with someone you love. Healing. This card been coming out like crazy for a lot of people, guys. This is crazy. It says, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment, okay? Maybe that's why the imprints card came out in reverse. It's time for you to nurture yourself again, okay? Nurture yourself. It's time to take your life back. Fall back in love with who you are. Two more love cards came out. That's amazing. It says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. So do what feels right, okay? Like I said, what's for you, it will be for you. It won't be somebody else's spouse, okay? I see here transformation as well. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transform all things. So again, there's definitely something here on the horizon. Maybe you were dating somebody um, and were not able to take the relationship to another level. And now you guys have an opportunity to do so. Um, you will even possibly meet someone new who really makes you feel feel at whole and will make you feel loved and secure within yourself. So again, when some, especially, I feel like cancer women, especially, like, let me say this to you, right? When a man really wants you, trust me, you don't have to beg. You don't have to wonder where they are, if they cheating or sleeping around. You don't have to worry about those things. That man is going to show up and show out and he's going to give you 100%. Okay. So if you are dealing with somebody who got a situation on the side or uh, maybe they keep telling you they're not with someone and, and you, you know, you try to believe it, right? Because you obviously like this person, but if the situation is really becoming too complicated, you may want to say to yourself, Hey, you know what? This is not for me. Let me move on. Right. Or maybe you have been taking a break from your ex. Maybe you have been saying, you know what? I need to get my shit together. I don't have time for you right now. Maybe they broke your heart in the past. And maybe now they're here to prove their loyalty to you, okay? So it's it can go both ways, all right? But pay attention, especially to those of you that have these people that you're dealing with that may have someone on the side, like a girlfriend, a wife, or, um, yeah, a real man will not take you through those things, okay? The other thing is, um, and no real woman, fellas, will take you through that. If they really want you, they're going to show you that they want you. You know, and I really learned that about love. You don't have to fight for it because love conquers all, okay? You don't have to fight. You don't have to worry about where they are, what they're doing, who they with. Are they really for you? Are they going to come spend time with you? Are they going to spend the holiday with their wife? Are they going to spend time with you? Like, who the fuck wants to go through that? Like, I just want to know, like, that you're going to be for me and you choose me. I don't want to have to sit here and wonder what the fuck you're doing. Like, nobody have time for that, Okay. And truthfully, Cancer, you conquer, I mean, not conquer, you thrive on love, okay? You are not at home when love is not right. You thrive on love. That is who you are. You are the natural nurturer. Everybody knows Cancer for being the nurturer. You are the one that brings a lot of love and light to the universe, even with dealing with other people, whether it's romance or not. It could be just simply friends, and you can make a person feel really, really warm inside. So with that being said... Be easy on yourself. All this love you've been giving out, don't burn yourself out trying to chase someone and love them and keep calling them. And they have no intention on fucking with you like that. Like, you got to know if it's not working out, it's just not working out. Like, let it go. Especially if you guys don't have no connections, like you guys don't have any kids together, you're not engaged, you're not married, or um, like if there's no real serious connection like that with you guys, please, <laughs> all the fishes in the sea. I'm not chasing just one little... No, 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 I'm not doing that. I'm I'm just not doing that, okay? Thank you. I'm not doing that. I'm just not doing that to myself. And I don't think you should either, Cancer. You deserve better, all right? So, guys, we're going to look into your soul. We're going to get some overall guidance. Show me Cancer overall soul journey. What does Cancer man and woman need to know alike? Please let us know. Cancer man and woman need to know. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Cancer. Cancer, we're going to ask spirit, guys... For guidance for your soul what do you need to know you know overall for the all these months between october and december what do you need to know okay acceptance wow you feel like a piece of you is missing 
And the piece of you might be missing. Get back to the good part. Get back to the fun part. Start loving you again. It says, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Okay? If it's not working, it's not working. What's for you is for you. Something, a part of you is missing. That self-confidence, that self-love. You do, you may feel like there's a hole in your heart. Maybe someone did break your heart. Okay? But you deserve so much better. They do not deserve you. Some of you are dealing with some tough situations. Some of you do have a spouse at home. But maybe there's a third-party situation going on between you and somebody else. Listen, don't put yourself in no crazy situation. I'm telling you, God is not going to give you somebody else's wife or somebody else's husband. I mean, I get it. There's people that's been married for 20 years and will literally walk down the street and meet someone new and be like, wow, where have you been all my life? I get it. It's called attraction for a reason. Like we are naturally, as humans, we are naturally attracted to each other. Remember, we are spiritual beings before we're human. So the attraction will be there. You will find people that you are sexually attracted. I mean, not sexually attracted to. Well, you might, but uh, you will find people that you just connect with on a deeper level. But it do still doesn't mean that you should jump into a relationship with this person. It still doesn't mean that you should take them home and get busy with them. It doesn't mean that, hey, you know, we should run off to the sunset and have kids together. That don't, that's not what that means. That means, hey, you just met a genuine good soul. We all have soulmates. Many, many, many soulmates. And just because you meet one doesn't mean that you guys need to shack up and be together and be a couple. Okay, even if this person is your soulmate, if they are in a situation where they are engaged, married with children or um, something similar to that nature, do not put yourself through that heartbreak. Why are you doing that to yourself? Don't do it to yourself. If you got someone good at home or you and this person at home and having issues, work on that. Build with what God gave you. And trust me, throughout the last few months of this year, you will definitely get the clarity you need. Okay, so this message resonates with you, Cancer. I would love if you can hit that subscribe button. And I want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you have showed me throughout 2021. You guys have been amazing, and I thank you, and I bless you. Mwah. Okay, you have a wonderful week, a wonderful month, a wonderful season. And may everything work out for you in your favor, because I do see that some things will. But acceptance. That's the key here, acceptance, okay? I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. That's a beautiful way to end this. So, I love you, Cancer, but I gotta go. Bye.